Welcome to Chapter 7, Ionic Equilibria, Acid and Base. Objective 7.1, identify conjugate acid and conjugate base according to bronsted lowry theory. Now today we continue with the exercise of how to write chemi chemical equation, reversible equation for weak acid and weak base. Okay, now we write for weak acid. Okay, for weak acid, CH3COOH. And remember, write down equals. And then it will dissociate partially in water, H2O. Okay, so what is the product? Okay, if I, I would write down H3O plus first equals because I know that CH3COOH is weak acid. If acid is going to produce H3O plus, so I have one product done. Okay, now another one is CH3COO. Okay, so what will this product be? So it will be CH3COO minus equals okay as we remember that acid is donate proton okay donate proton means we minus one h from the original equation so if i have deduct i have reduced one hydrogen h plus then i will get negative Another one is, I always check, if I have one positive, another one must be negative. Okay, now we go to another one that is base. Okay, if base, I would write reactant H equals dissociate partially in water. Okay, so what is the product that I'm going to get? Because it is a base, so I know that base, I must get OH minus. So I will write down OH minus first. Now, next one. What will happen to HS minus? Okay, we know that base is except proton. Okay, how many hydrogen do we have here? One. So means when it becomes proton, uh, sorry, it becomes base, it will become two hydrogen. Okay, now the que tricky question is, is it going to be positive or negative? Okay, since we already have negative here, so if one positive except proton is one positive here, and then we have one negative here, so positive negative becomes neutral. So it becomes H2S. There is no charge here. Okay, and it is still equals. Okay, so now this both of this is balanced. So remember. Acid donate proton, base accept proton. Okay, now next one. Identify the acid base conjugate pairs. Okay, so before that, I will start with pairing them up first. Okay, how to pair them up? Other than hydrogen, we look for other elements. Okay, for example, I have nitrogen here, reactant. And then product, I also have reactant. Uh, sorry, product, I also have nitrogen. So that I'm sure this is going to be one pair. Okay, so if this is one pair, then the one that has P or lead will be another pair. Okay, how to identify whether it is acid or base? Okay, so we, we compare the reactant and the product okay i shall write here okay reactant product okay look for hydrogen reactant we have two hydrogen product we only have one hydrogen meaning that it has donate proton donate proton is 
acid. Okay, so now we know that this is acid. So if one is acid, another one would be conjugate base. Okay, now next one. Let's look at the other one. If let's say I start with CH3 and H2. Okay, it is the reactant, then the product is CH3 and H3 plus. Okay, this is two. So reactant I have two hydrogen, product I have three hydrogen, meaning that I have after the reaction, I have add proton, except proton. Okay, if except proton means that this is a bronsted base. Okay, so this is base. So if one is base, the opposite one will be conjugate acid. Okay, and so remember for this type of question, if they ask for identify acid base conjugate pairs, you must show the pair by using lines. And then don't forget to label acid conjugate base, base conjugate acid. Okay, now let's move on to another one. Write the conjugate base for the formula for acid N2H5. Okay, so we know that N2H5 is acid. Okay, so the pair will be conjugate base. Okay, remember, just like this, reactant, there are, oh, reactant, there must be five, there are five hydrogen here because it is acid, acid, donate, proton. Okay, so minus one proton. So the conjugate base should have only four hydrogen. So it becomes N2H4 only. Okay, because it has eliminate one hydrogen. Okay, now we move on to base for water. Okay, if water is a base, so what is the conjugate acid? Okay, same. It has two hydrogen. If it's a base, base will accept proton. Okay, so means two hydrogen becomes three hydrogen. Okay, so it will become H3O plus because we accept proton. There's a charge here. So it becomes positive just like this. Okay. So remember, if one is acid, another one must be conjugate base. And acid donate proton. A base accept proton and then to write the balanced chemical equation for dissociation of weak acid or weak base remember you must give all the phase and don't forget the reversible arrow because it is not completely dissociate okay that's all for the example sample exercise of i think conjugate acid base pair